Okay guys, Joel here. I got a nice easy one for you. I'm out here cooking dinner for my family and we're cooking uh, pierogies and let's see, pierogies, baked beans, and then some of one of my favorites here. We're gonna do we're gonna do some Mexican street corn. So I'm gonna tell you guys how to make this corn and uh, it's real quick, real easy and delicious. So my wife and I went to a taco festival last summer and they were serving this uh, Mexican street corn. It's called elote. So all you're going to do is I just got this corn from Kroger. Usually I like cooking it in the husk, but they didn't have that. All they had was this. So I got these. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to brush them with some olive oil and some salt and pepper and then get them on your grill. And you're going to start moving them around the grill until you get all this nice color on the outside. And then uh, I'll show you what we're going to do after that. Well, guys, it's a beautiful but chilly evening here in uh, Richmond, Michigan. And I just want to take a minute and say that as horrible as all this is that's been going on, which it is really terrible, and uh, it's a weird time, and we're all staying home together and doing all this. But just I'm always a uh, look on the bright side kind of guy. And uh, I feel very fortunate to get to spend all this time with my family. There's my daughter playing out there. And cooking these meals and just, you know, just getting back to a simpler time, I guess, where everyone's hanging out with each other and everything. Um, but, you know, stay healthy out there, guys. This is a serious thing. This is uh, pretty crazy. But just, I guess, try and make the best of it. That's all, that's all you can do out here, right? All right, guys. So our corn's looking good. I say this is about ready. About to take it upstairs with these beans. And, uh... I'll show you guys the next step in the process. All right guys, so the next step what I like to do is I take a stick, like a skewer, and jam it into the bottom of the corn. And that just makes it easier to handle for uh, what we're about to do. And then we're gonna need some mayo and some melted butter. We're gonna use this brush and we're gonna put some melted butter on each of these corn. Brush that on. Flip them over. Hit the other side. There we go. And now we're going to move on to the mail. You're going to take mail with your brush and start. Painting it on. Give the whole outside a good coat. Turn it over. Get the other side. There we go. And do that to each of these, and then we'll start with our cheese. All right, so our next step is we're going to take some Parmesan. Usually it's just straight Parmesan, but this is what we had. So working with what we got. And I'm going to get Parm on all these. We're going to get it flipped over. Do the other side. Put Parm on all this. And... And we're going to get to our seasonings. So for seasonings, it's really, um, you know, whatever you want it to taste like. When we went to the taco festival, they had a chili lime seasoning. And uh, so I went out and bought something like that. That's really good. Or you can use any kind of barbecue rub. And that's really good too. So we're going to sprinkle that on top. And uh, we're just about done. All right, guys, there you have it. There's a uh, elote, Mexican street corn. Um, and here we go. It's really good. It's messy, but it's really good. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay healthy, wash your hands, don't touch your face, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.